couple weeks ago. Did you get a chance to watch it on TV at all? I did not. We were traveling out here to drive this event. I guess that's probably more important than uh, watching rally cross. So here we come with Reese Millen, followed by Ryan Turk. Wow, 80.8 .8 miles an hour from Reese, the fastest we've seen in top 16. Turk hard on his door. Lots of smoke coming off Reese's hand cooked tires, but Turk isn't moving anywhere. Diving in, trying to stay close to Reese. Good run overall from Reese Millen. Ryan Turk isn't far behind. We're going to watch the replay right now. Now, Ryan, uh, one thing that you know some of us have noticed is that Turk seems a lot more comfortable in that S13 chassis than the Camaro he ran last year. Uh, you know, between the Z and, and the S13. If you could put that motor into an S13, do you feel like you prefer the chassis of the S13 more, or is the Z something that just has better, a, a, a good evolution on the Nissan chassis? The Z is definitely the next step forward from the, the 240X SX chassis, and I've gotten really comfortable with it. But a lot of these drivers like Ryan Turk and actually Dai Yoshihara, they came from a, a more foreign platform back to the S13 and started seeing improvement in results. And that could just be because it started in the S13, that's where they're comfortable, and that's where they can push it the hardest. Yeah, and Ryan Turk sitting in six overall right now. Reese Mills ahead of him in fourth, so. This definitely has a lot of championship point implications. Finishing in the top 16 gives you 54 points. Finishing in the top eight guarantees you, I believe, 63 points. 62, 63 points. So although it's only 10 points, those points matter because last year our champion was Dai Yoshihara was crowned by very few points. I believe it was less than 10. Yep. Five, five and a half points is what Dai won by. So those 10 points, every single 10 a battle that you win is very important. Ryan's gonna be leading here again. We had the fastest entry that last round with Reese leading. Ryan's entry is 79.7, almost the exact same entry speed as last round. Reese is hard on his door as well, staying tight around that clipping point. Switching through that transition. Looks like Millen slowed a little bit, but stayed, stayed hard on turn. Wow. This is one of those moments where I'm glad I'm not a judge. Ryan, did you see anything that kind of stood out? That was a really clean run from both drivers. Reese was just all over Ryan Turk, so this might come down to the first run. Who made the bigger mistakes? It looks like Reese ran a little bit wide, but he was able to bring it back in behind Turk and didn't sacrifice his run too badly. Again, the judges mentioned the word proximity a lot in the drivers' meetings for tandem. Now they're trying to see, the judges are asking if we can go back to a previous run. I think, you know, they noticed the exact same thing you did. It might come down to a couple of very tiny mistakes. So they want to see if they can uh, look at that first lead run again to have it for comparisons. Right, I've actually had the chance to judge a couple of Pro-Am series. After graduating through the Pro-Am, I was invited back to judge. And uh, this is one of those runs where it's a really tough decision. You really got to think about it. Again, this is back when Reese was leading that first run. Hard to say, again, I don't really see anything that stands out. Uh, Ryan ran a little bit shallower line there through that big sweeper, but that's allowed for what the judges have asked. These judges are kind of trying to figure out what's going on. Thinking, thinking, Jeopardy music. The crowd definitely likes it. Again, last battle of top 16. Then we'll be moving into top eight. Very interesting to see how all this plays out. You know, I'm just going to go off a hunch here, but I'm going to go ahead and guess that the crowds and the, the crowd and the drift stream fans probably want to see it one more time. You know, I wouldn't be mad at that, that's for sure. Very tough to make a decision on a run like this. Again, packed house here in Florida. Thank you very much for coming out to uh, everybody at all the events we've had so far. Formula D Long Beach was sold out before the doors opened. Formula D Atlanta was very full. Judges are uh, coming in with their decisions. Eggert says one more time. 
Brian Latane says, and 